this is human nature. Uh, you know, I, I can, I can definitely see that there are individuals um, who we would classify as having a disorder, say schizophrenia, for example. And you look at this person, you say, okay, that's not normal behavior. Could there be chemicals off in their brain, so on and so forth? Yes, maybe so. But I'm still skeptical of putting it under a label because you're making some sort of artificial umbrella which then you can treat this person with. Um, so I, I'm not going to say that these things don't exist. I'm not going to say that they that they do either, but I'm not convinced by the mainstream argument. Mm -hmm. I think it's absolutely ridiculous that you go and take a, take a psychology course, for example, and you're told this is the classification for bipolar, this classification for schizophrenia, but as if humans are these categorical entities that we can just chop up and divide. Yeah. I think that's a bit ridiculous. I, I feel like the hospitals, the government, so on and so forth, have monopolized the way that we can, can seek out health. And that's ridiculous because where does it end? Where, and where does, where does their power end? When, when, where does our autonomy start and end? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a question. It's an open question, but that's, that's the kind of question that concerns me. And what about their drug treatments? Yeah, I mean it, it's yeah, I mean it's it's a it's, a, it's, it's altering yeah, I mean you're you're completely altering your uh your physiological state, your chem your chemicals, everything. I mean that seems like a last case scenario. A last resort, I mean. Oh, let's give you a pill. Cuz then the root problem the root problem isn't going to be solved. 